Hello, in this video I want to show you how this new mesh and fit feature work. We added it in build 1.19 and it allows you to decide when you want to input this mesh for runtime demolition. By default it worked uh, at demolition time, so when your object collided with something it uh, was inputting this mesh, uh, which means it was converting this mesh into our own mesh and then we fragment our own mesh and then get all fragments meshes back to the unity so that's using this property you can now input this mesh and decrease total demolition time at start or add initialization which you may do manually or using some methods uh, so by default uh, let's try it how it works uh, when this mesh input is set to add demolition also i'm using this special debug build which will show here total fragmentation type and not the best way to measure time because it depends on CPU also I am uh, recording my screen right now but still it gives you some idea how it works and how it can you can save some time here so first I will demolish this object in runtime uh, with uh, including this mesh at demolition so it will take the most of uh, the most time okay now you can see it says here column cache time 0 053 millisecond and obviously it's too much for one frame so but again this column has almost two almost two thousand triangles and that's not so small amount of triangles for runtime demolition but uh, this time i will set here mesh input to add start and let's try again and now you can see uh I just started uh, play mode and it's already set here column input time 22 milliseconds so it already converted this mesh into our own mesh and uh, now it's ready for fragmentation and when collision will happen it will not spend this 22 milliseconds for converting this mesh so now let's take a look and okay now you can see that cache time is 28 milliseconds so as you can see instead of 53 milliseconds for inputting this mesh and fragmentation at collision now you can input this mesh save some time here at start but then uh, when actual uh, demolition will happen at collision time it will take almost almost well not almost but pretty close to this input time 28 millisecond which is uh, i think okay for uh, such object demolition in 2000 triangles so uh, this is how you can in increase I mean decrease your demolition time if you have some middle or high poly object which you want to run demolish in runtime so uh, keep in mind this property and uh, use it also there is another one another way to input this mesh at in initialization and uh, let's set it here but this time i will also set here initialization at not at start but by method and I will set here by method as well. Uh, okay, now as you can see, nothing uh, demolishing the circ doesn't drop, so you can initialize your object using this initialize button or using initialize method you, uh, by inside your own script. So now, since I set here mesh input at initialization, you can initialize, and it will input this mesh when the object will be initialized. And then you can initialize your rock and again it will demolish your object and it will take less time okay uh, thank you for watching uh, goodbye